MetLabs performs compliance testing for uh, newly designed electrical and electronic devices. We used a, a standard called IEEE 299 for shielding effectiveness. And what we did was we used some radio frequency amplifiers and signal generators to generate RF signals at various frequencies. And then on the inside of the tough block, we put a receiving antenna and we measured how much of the signal that we're generating uh, could penetrate through the, the box. The products that we test for shielding effect in this are full enclosures. And these devices are uh, designed to represent a Faraday cage. Uh, a Faraday cage will prevent RF energy from the outside from entering to the inside or vice versa from the inside to the outside to some degree. And the degree that we see the uh, attenuation, we, we measure that in dB units. The tough block performed very well for the shielding effect in this testing we, we did here at MET Laboratories. Um, the, the levels that we measured were on the order of 80 to over 100 dB of shielding effectiveness across the full frequency range that we measured. And this, as it compares to other devices that we've tested and kind of the, um, the highest that's achievable, it's, it's at the top of the range. The lid um, seal is very uh, tight and it seems like the tolerances on the seal that the lid makes with the box it, um, is to a high tolerance. And this is really important for shielding effectiveness. So when you hear of people trying to make a Faraday cage out of a trash can or some other type of um, conductive fabric, the, the things that really uh, weaken that design are the seams and the ceiling. These particular details and having a knowledge of, of these type of uh, critical aspects of designing a Faraday cage are part, you know, part of the reason that the Tough Block is it's a professionally made device uh, compared to something that somebody would try to make uh, more like homemade.